Hey, we're here in Carteret Mobile Park. We're on the corner of Blair Road and Roosevelt Avenue in Carteret, New Jersey, which is the heart of Middlesex County. So we are here at lot 011 that we're going to be showing you. And 012, Mike is working on the steps and on the inside and the Anderson storm doors. So that house has been sold. And today we're going to be taking a look at this house before the closing next week. So this is the fourth of three homes that we built in one section of the community. So we built 09, 010, and 011, and 012. So now this whole O row has been completed. We ended up having uh, empty lots for some time due to trailers from the 1940s that no longer um, met the standards for comfortable living. These older homes tend to have leaking windows and they're just single pane and the walls are not insulated like the newer homes that are considered manufactured homes. So there is an interchangeable lingo of trailer, mobile home, and manufactured home. But they are in fact very different. They have to do with the code of construction. So what you're seeing here is a house that's considered a manufactured home, even though I know the cultural lingo and terminology is trailer. We don't use the T word. That's the inside joke in our family business. We're the Dolans of DolanHomes.com and we build all the brand new construction in Carteret Mobile Park. So you will be directed to the Dolan Homes website to take a look at what we offer in Carteret, New Jersey in our Carteret Mobile Park community. What you're seeing here is the custom steps that Mike built and we give every house a little shed. We've come up with this new shed company and the sheds are insulated and the roofs are pitched. We do it on a concrete slab. Whoa, that was the door. And that keeps everything that you're going to store in here dry. There is a little bit of storage allowed underneath the house, but um, you have to put everything in a Rubbermaid container because you don't want any moisture buildup down there. So cardboard and anything that absorbs moisture would be a problem. So that's the skirting around there. We have it vented and uh, we stoned the yard so that it would be maintenance free. Here's the backyard. We have central air conditioning in this house and the gas in this community is propane gas. So um, everybody finds that very convenient and very easy to use. So here's the clean out for the sewer system. We're like a little town. We snow plow the streets in the winter and then each person plows out their own walkway and their own cars. And you'll take a look at the community from this angle. And we also take care of the infrastructure, which is the water and sewer system. So that's the clean out there on that little white tube capped in the gravel area or the stoned area. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside. So Carter Mobile Park was built in the 1940s and in the 50s, uh, four men from Carteret uh, came together and created this community and started um, renovating and changing. And that continues to this day with Robert Dolan as the managing partner. As I said, many times these outdated homes end up coming into our hands, not by choice, and um, we end up having to take them to the landfill, and then this is when we buy and build brand new houses. So the houses are built in Ephrata, of Pennsylvania. We are using Redmond Homes as the manufacturer in Ephrata, of Pennsylvania. It's the Lancaster County area, really beautiful area. And then the houses are shipped here, and um, we follow the HUD code, and Robert Dolan has all the licenses to build according to the federal government HUD code. And then we tie in all the utilities. So this is the living room, and you'll see we're doing full drywall packages in the living room and the kitchen. This gives it a very residential feel, and you've got 
um, the ceiling with hi-hats. We use all LED lighting. This is a hundred panel electric um, house, so it's just like a regular house. Just a little bit smaller and more affordable for people in the shadow of New York City. And here is uh, the kitchen. So we've been going um, very consistently with this beautiful um, tone in the cabinetry. This is the canoe birch. Uh, every year they come out with new designs. I believe last year, because of COVID, they did not. The windows are, I mean, the shelves are adjustable and they have these European pools, which make it really modern and sleek looking. And um, this uh, house got the stainless steel package. Uh, before COVID, we were able to pick between white and black and stainless steel appliances. And we actually couldn't afford to purchase the stainless steel packages. So this has been a bonus during um, the COVID quarantine and the COVID shortages. So what you're seeing on the backsplash is the glass backsplash. It goes all the way to the top of the cabinets. And we add this little cabinet uh, skirting. We think it makes it a more finished look. And um, you have the bronzite countertop, which has really great colors to pull everything together. And it's really the highlight of the kitchen. I would never have thought to use such a dark countertop, but my son, who is an architect by training, um, loved it and suggested it. And because he's the project manager, we let him run with it. So that's a beautiful design. He pretty much lays out all the designs for all the houses and the lots and the setbacks and all the things we have to do with zoning. So it's really wonderful having him on hand. The manufacturer gives us these shades and the valances that come with each house. And um, they are now uh, no strings, no wires. They just simply go up and then they pull down. So it's a really great bonus, no tangling up of the string. This is your nine light cottage door for the back by code. Um, again, there's a lot of things you guys don't know behind the scenes. So uh, the HUD code requires two doors, one near each bedroom, the bedrooms in the back there, for um, fire safety. And then here's another little tidbit. This little um, tiny wall is something that the HUD code requires when there's uh, too many windows or not too many because you can never have too many windows. But then when there's windows in uh, next to each other, they do that support wall. So there's a lot of wonderful things that um, the HUD code protects the buyer and gives you a lot of added benefits. Here is the laundry room area and this is hookup for your washer and dryer. And this house is an Energy Star certified house. So the heating and the cooling system is upgraded. The thermostat is upgraded. There's more insulation. These houses have carbon monoxide in them. And you saw the fire extinguisher in the kitchen, which again, by law, we have to have that part of the HUD code. So here you're looking at the bathroom. This is a two bedroom, one bath. And this house, um, by code, we are not able to install the shower stalls. We tend to get more people who like that, but um, the last two or three houses, we've had people who, on their own, took this out and then replaced it with a shower stall. So that is something that is possible. We did the flooring completely linoleum throughout, or I should say vinyl, because linoleum's the name brand, kind of like saying Q-tip and Kleenex. And so this has your commode, the matching counter, and a porcelain um, drop-in sink. And every um, sink or water outlet has a little turn-off valve inside. And then um, we added this little transom window for light in this room. And this is water-resistant paper which is called VOG, or Vinyl on Gypsum. So there you have the mirror that's framed, and the LED lighting, and then the fan, which I did not turn on because it's a little loud. But suffice it to say, it works. So again, here's another look of the laundry room area. Now, all these houses are under warranty, so uh, when you purchase one of these, 
there's a lot of warranties that come with the house. The first is 30 day cosmetic. Once you're in here, you can send us a list and you'll be sending that to our son, the project manager, and he contacts the company and then they contact you directly, which is one of the reasons we order directly from Redmond because they're one of the best at servicing anything that might go wrong. And then in the bathroom bedrooms, um, we have this bypass closet door. And I've shown in other videos that we have here the full house water turnoff. And typically this is uh, stored or created underneath the house, but uh, we pay extra to have it brought up here to make it easier for you. And here you have the information about the house. There's the serial number, and here's all the appliances that are in the house and all their numbers. And again, the serial number, oops, I'm out of focus. And um, this shows you the wind zone that this house is made for, wind zone number one. And then up above, you've got your certification that this is an Energy Star certified home. So back into the bedroom, you'll see um, how comfortable this is. It's very quiet here. You can't even hear anything. And that's because of all the insulation in the house. Um, this is another angle. There's another smoke detector in the ceiling. And then we'll go back over here. And now you've seen it from all four angles of the room. Oh, let me show you the hot water heater. So this is another thing we do. We create the hot water heater door directly into the room. In um, The standard is to have the access panel for the hot water heater in the closet. But we think that's kind of rough on people to have to take all their clothes out if, if in fact, they ever had to uh, do anything there. So there's the warranty booklet for that hot water heater. And it's sitting in a pan. And then it's uh, got a drain line that goes directly outside to vent outside of the house, beyond the house, in case there was ever any issue. So lots of things are thought out, thought out before and after the house is built. So now let's go to the other side of the house and take a look at the other bedroom. So there's cable jack in every uh, bedroom and in the living room. So you see it here on the uh, wall and you'll see there's a ceiling fan. And again, I don't have a ceiling fan on, but the light is on. Here's a little sunburst window front door. These are stainless steel doors. Here's your furnace. This has got a safety door uh, latch on it. It's magnetic and it's vented. So your uh, central air conditioning and your forced hot air run through here. And again, those are run by um, natural propane. All right, and now the bedroom, the second bedroom. A lot of people use this as a study or a TV room or a guest room. Um, we have very few uh, families in this community, although they're very welcome because some of these bedrooms seem smaller. And what we typically have is retirees or a, a couple or a single person and they just like this bonus room. To them it's like um, an added place and the view from the window is really nice out into the street. And here you have the other bypass closet door and in the the closets you have the um, metal shelving and these are the screens for the two Anderson storm doors that we put in. And there you have it. So um, we have had a lot of changes during COVID and we've gone, everything is now online. If you're interested in the next house we'll be building, because as I mentioned, this house is already sold and the closing's next week. Um, go straight to the website, My Home in Carteret, or dolanhomes.com and you'll go to the listings page and see what we have available and then you can fill out the 15 pre-qualifying questions. We do not rent. There are no homes rented here or sublet. We're a land lease community so you're um, abiding by the lease and I provide that three different times in um, several emails and in our constant contact which is our monthly updated uh, list of what's happening next and what's for sale next. So that's where you want to start. 
We're working on getting applications to be done directly on our website and that might make it easier for people. So we're really streamlining and we've had to close our offices due to COVID, but it turns out working everything online has been incredibly efficient and uh, made it really helpful for everyone. For those who don't have internet access, um, we ask them to ask their friends or relatives to help them out. And again, the process is pretty quick. Uh, you fill out the 15 questions, I go over those with you in an email, and then I send you between four and six, depending on your circumstances, both financial and other variables, and um, give you everything you need to know and step-by-step -step process. Uh, we do not finance. We do refer financing to um, other corporations that we've come to understand and learn through the years that provide reliable and, you know, um, reasonable financing. So um, we're happy to forward that information to you. And um, again, the application process is um, described and listed on the website and in the emails. And again, uh, right now we're doing everything by mail, but we will be doing it online and you can submit everything on there in the future. So stay tuned for that progress. Let's see, is there anything else I need to mention? Um, well, we're very blessed and very eager to be a part of making um, the American dream of home ownership a possibility here in this expensive housing corridor. Like I said, we're in the shadow of New York City and a lot of people who see our videos are shocked at the prices. But then again, everything in this New Jersey area is rather on the high end, but then again, so are the incomes, so um, it all works out. But anyway, we're here to help in any way. We, it's our pleasure to be of service, so um, start at the website, and we look forward to hearing from you. My home in Carteret.com.